So I've been primarily a Linux user since 2008, and I'm talking about on the desktop. I've used Linux on the server for you know many years going back before that. But since 2008, the only desktop operating system that I have installed and used on my personal machines has been Linux. And over those years, I've discovered that there are some things about Linux that I really love and some things about Linux that I don't love quite as much. Today, what I wanted to do is I'm going to give you three things that I love doing on Linux. And I'm also going to give you three things that I absolutely hate when I have to do these on Linux. So let's start with the things I love doing on Linux. The very first thing I want to talk about is installing new software. I absolutely love installing and trying out new software. It is one of the most enjoyable things to go and find a program, install it, try it out. And some of these pieces of software that I try out, some of them are okay, but some of them are absolutely amazing. Sometimes you find a piece of software that completely changes your entire workflow. Sometimes you find pieces of software that truly changes your life. And it's so different with Linux because on Linux, when I first switched to desktop Linux, my very first desktop Linux distribution was Ubuntu 804. And you know, I installed Ubuntu and opened up its software center and I'm introduced to like tens of thousands of packages in the software center, you know, in the repos that I could try out, you know, and I, with the click of a button, I can install new programs, try it out. And if I liked it, I could keep it or I could uninstall it, try out some other programs. And it's so different than the way Windows was because Windows didn't have a central repository of software. It was truly a headache on Windows to go and grab new pieces of software. You had to scour the internet for different programs that were available on Windows. You had to go download the Windows executable files and install every program. Each program had its own different way of installing and updating itself. And it's just a nightmare. I didn't realize it was a nightmare because as a Windows user, I didn't know there was anything different <laughs> until I actually switched to Linux and I realized, wow, this is truly magical. On Linux, all of your software, everything that you could possibly run essentially on your system is in this central repository of software. And you could very easily within seconds install any program and start trying it out. And to this day, I love installing and trying out new software. It is one of the most enjoyable things I do on my computer. The second thing I love doing on Linux is customizing software. And this kind of goes back to, you know, installing and trying out new software. I also like the freedom that Linux gives us as far as uh, all this free and open source software, especially that we can install. Most of it is very customizable. It's very flexible, very customizable. They ship with configuration files and you can edit these config files. And in some cases, some of these programs are extremely configurable to where you can do practically anything you want to with that config file and that program. And I love it. You know, it was a level of freedom that I just never had until switching to Linux and especially using free and open source software is you have this level of customization that you really didn't know existed until you got to Linux. And finally, the third thing I love doing on Linux is I love using the terminal and the bash shell. And I know some people complain that that's one of the negatives about Linux. But for me, I absolutely enjoy using the terminal and the shell. I, I find that very relaxing, very peaceful. And the reason I find it peaceful where a lot of people think it's kind of a headache is because you know, and I have been using Linux long enough where I, in some cases, need to get into a terminal or into a TTY and troubleshoot things, you know, and try to solve my own problems. So when I use the terminal and learn a new command, some command I didn't know how to use before, you know, I find that a useful thing to have in the back of my mind. You know, it's another tool to have in my tool bag that I may need at some point. So I never complain about using the terminal or, or learning, you know, a little bash scripting or whatever it happens to be, because I know in the end that's going to pay off for me somewhere down the road. I'm going to need some of that knowledge. Plus just knowing how the operating system works under the hood. I, I think that's very important because a lot of your GUI applications, all of your GUI applications are essentially running terminal commands and instead of, you know, opening a terminal and entering a command to run, you know, you press a button on a GUI application and that button you press actually runs 
the terminal command you would have typed in the terminal. That's all the GUI is. The GUI is simply a front end for the command line for the most part. So in some ways, when you learn the terminal and you learn a little bit of bash, you really learn how the operating system is built from the ground up. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows on Linux. There are some things about Linux that I hate. There are some things that I hate having to do sometimes on my Linux computers. The very first thing I hate having to do is I hate having to troubleshoot problems. And it's not like troubleshooting problems is something I can't do. I, I've been using Linux for years. So if you use Linux long enough, problems will arise. There will be errors, there will be crashes, there will be bugs, and you have to go investigate the situation. Typically, you have to solve your own problems. You have to investigate the situation, file a bug report, read a man page, you have to do some work, right? And then, you know, you'll probably get your situation straightened out. For example, I can tell you that 99% of the problems that crop up on my computers, I solve the problem. I have no problem in uh, as far as being able Able to solve my problems. I just hate having to solve my own problems. It's one of the things I find frustrating about Linux is, you know, so many errors and bugs do crop up and I find it a waste of my time in some cases having to do that. I just find the whole thing rather off-putting. The second thing I hate having to do on Linux is compiling software. Now this is going to vary from distribution to distribution. Some distributions you have to compile software more often than others, but no matter which Linux distribution you run, occasionally you're going to find a program that you're not going to have a binary package for in any format that you can install on that distribution. So what do you have to do? You have to go and compile it from source. And this is something I absolutely can't stand. For one thing, compiling very large programs takes a crazy amount of time, in some cases hours, to compile certain pieces of software. But the real reason I hate compiling software is not because of the time. The real reason I hate compiling software, especially on binary based distributions, is that this compiled piece of software that I compiled myself is a piece of software that will not be managed by my distribution's package manager because my package manager didn't install it. I installed it, right? I manually built the thing myself. So now it is my responsibility to keep up with potential updates for that software. Also, compiling software can be problematic because if you compile a lot of different programs on your system, you can run into situations where all of a sudden you find yourself in dependency hell, meaning that you're going to find situations where you need a dependency for a particular program, but it's not available or the version that you need is not available in the repository for your distribution and it can just lead you down this weird rabbit hole of just having to chase your own tail like like a dog chasing its own tail right where you're constantly searching for dependencies to build all this software and for the most part these days if i have to compile a piece of software i typically look for an alternative i just don't want the headaches of managing my own manually compiled pieces of software anymore and the third thing that i really hate doing on linux is i hate going and begging proprietary software companies to port their software over to Linux. And I used to do this, and I know a lot of you guys probably do do this, as you go and beg companies like Microsoft and Apple, and especially a company like Adobe, please port your software over to Linux. I am willing to pay you for your software. I, you know, if Adobe ported Adobe Photoshop over to Linux, I would gladly buy your Linux version of Photoshop. Give me an opportunity to give you my money. And sometimes these proprietary proprietary software companies like Adobe, for example, just tell us to go F ourselves. Adobe does not want to make software for Linux. They're not interested in us. They don't respect us, the Linux community, and they don't really want our money. And at some point, you know, I discovered a few years ago, I was just going to quit begging proprietary software companies to make their software for Linux. I have more respect for myself now. If I ask a company, hey, would you mind porting your proprietary software over to Linux? And they tell me, no, no, I'm not interested in you or your money. Oh, okay. Well, I've got more self-respect, you know, I will go away. You know, I'm not going to degrade myself anymore by begging that company to take my money. A, a for-profit company that should want my money, if they don't want my money, that's fine, you know. <laughs> but too many of us are out there and we look ridiculous when we're out there. So many of us out there begging these 
for-profit companies to take our money when they don't want our money. And I'm just not going to do that anymore. I did it in the past, but at some point, you know, again, I just have a little bit more self-respect and I'm not going to do that going forward. So there you have it. Three things I love doing on Linux, three things I hate doing on Linux. Share in the comments down below some of the things you really love doing on your Linux machines and share some of the things you really hate having to do on your Linux machines. Peace, guys.